One of the things about robotic surgery, which you know came out recently, is that robotic surgery doesn't really add much to the operations. And the critics of robotic surgery will tell you that it takes longer in the hands of surgeons that are not experienced enough. There's a cost that comes with it, which most hospitals may not be able to afford it or make up for it. And I happen to agree with it. I think it's, even though it's a great technology, it has changed the way we practice medicine. It's really the person behind this robotic surgery. It's the driver behind the NASCAR car that's going to win the race. The car is important. I think the robot is important, but the person behind, how many cases have you done? Who does the operation? What if the robot breaks during the operation? Do you know how to jumpstart the robot? Do you have a team that can troubleshoot and figure out what went on? It's rare for the robot to stop working. Look, it's a computer. It's a technology. Anything can happen. So the experience of the surgeon and the team is everything. If you have people who have done a couple of hundred of these cases and they're doing surgery that's really long, six hours, nine hours, without knowing what they're doing, it's really not worth it. It's, it's devastating. It causes a lot of complication, and I'm completely against it. Experience matters, and patients should look, look always for the most experienced surgeons who've done a lot of these, who are comfortable, who have the team, program, center of excellence, and are dedicated to that particular procedure. That's really important. I think the technology is one component of this, but not the whole thing.